What if I told you that the Lustra Sea Ray Sundancer 370 cruising through Miami's crystal waters today shares DNA with a 4,500-year-old Egyptian funeral boat buried alongside pharaohs? The evolution of boats from 4000 BC to 2025 reveals humanity's relentless pursuit of conquering water. But here's the twist that'll blow your mind. The fundamental principles that made ancient rowboats work are still powering today's most advanced watercraft. However, this isn't just a story about wood and fiberglass. It's about how human ingenuity transformed simple logs into precision-engineered vessels that can slice through waves at 60 miles per hour. By the end of this journey through time, you'll discover how three revolutionary moments changed boating forever, and why the future of small boats might surprise you. Picture this, 4000 BC along the fertile banks of the Nile River. Egyptian craftsmen are carefully hollowing out massive logs, creating vessels that would carry both the living and the dead across waters both earthly and divine. These weren't just boats, they were humanity's first serious attempt at conquering water transportation. The Egyptian funeral boats discovered in tombs near the Great Pyramid weren't merely ceremonial. Archaeological evidence shows these cedar wood vessels. Some stretching over 140 feet long were fully functional watercraft designed to carry pharaohs into the afterlife. But here's what's fascinating. The construction techniques used, mortise and tenon joints, rope lashings and curved hulls, established principles that boat builders still use today. The ancient Egyptians perfected the art of the reed boat around 3000 BC. These papyrus vessels, bound together with rope and sealed with pitch, could carry substantial loads while remaining incredibly lightweight. The famous Ra expeditions of the 1970s proved these ancient designs could cross oceans, challenging everything we thought we knew about early maritime capabilities. Moving east to ancient Mesopotamia, the coracle emerged as a game-changer around 2500 BC. These circular, basket-like boats covered in animal hides were the pickup trucks of the ancient world. Practical, durable, and surprisingly seaworthy, Iraqi fishermen still use nearly identical designs today, proving that sometimes the simplest solutions are the most enduring. The Greeks revolutionized small boat design around 800 BC with the development of the skiff. Unlike the heavy Egyptian vessels, Greek boats emphasized speed and maneuverability. They discovered that a longer, narrower hull could cut through water more efficiently, a principle that would later influence everything from racing shells to modern speedboats. Roman ingenuity gave us the first true pleasure boats around 100 AD. Wealthy Romans commissioned luxurious barges for Nile cruises, complete with multiple rooms and elaborate decorations. These weren't just transportation, they were the first recreational watercraft, establishing a tradition of boating for pure enjoyment that continues today. Before we dive into how medieval innovations changed everything, make sure you're subscribed to catch our entire series on transportation evolution. Hit that notification bell, because next week we're exploring how Viking longships influenced modern yacht design in ways you never imagined. The collapse of Rome didn't end boat innovation, it accelerated it. Viking longships, developed around 700 AD, represented a quantum leap in small boat technology. These shallow draft vessels could navigate both open seas and narrow rivers, giving Vikings unprecedented mobility. The secret? Their revolutionary overlapping plank construction, called clinker building, created hulls that were both flexible and incredibly strong. But here's the surprising twist. Vikings weren't just raiders, they were maritime engineers. Their boats featured removable masts, symmetric hulls that could be rowed in either direction, and innovative steering systems that allowed precise control in rough waters. Modern yacht designers still study Viking construction techniques for inspiration. The medieval period saw the emergence of specialized fishing boats across Europe. The English developed the distinctive dory around 1000 AD, a flat-bottomed boat that could be easily launched from beaches and stacked for transport. New England fishermen would later adopt this design, and variations are still used today from Maine to Nova Scotia. 
In Asia, the Chinese were pushing boat technology in completely different directions. The sampan, perfected during the Song Dynasty (960–1279 AD), featured a unique sculling propulsion system that allowed one person to move surprisingly large boats. The distinctive curved stern and flexible construction made these boats incredibly seaworthy while remaining simple to build and maintain. The Renaissance brought the first real pleasure boats to Europe. Italian nobles commissioned elaborate gondolas for Venice's canals, while French aristocrats developed the Bateau de Plaisance for river excursions. These weren't just luxury items, they represented a fundamental shift in how humans viewed their relationship with water, from pure necessity to recreation and status. The year 1807 changed boating forever. Robert Fulton's North River steamboat challenged 5,000 years of human-powered water transportation. But steamboats were massive, expensive, and required constant feeding of coal or wood. The real revolution for small boats was still decades away. The breakthrough came with the development of portable steam engines in the 1850s. Suddenly, small boats could be mechanically powered without the massive infrastructure of larger steamships. The first steam launches appeared on American rivers around 1860, marking the beginning of the end for pure, human-powered recreation boating. However, steam wasn't the future. Internal combustion was. The first gasoline-powered boat appeared in 1886 just one year after the first automobile. German engineer Gottlieb Daimler installed a modified car engine in a small boat, achieving speeds that would have been impossible with oars or sails alone. The real game-changer came in 1893, when American inventor Christopher Columbus Smith built his first gasoline-powered boat in Michigan. Smith's designs emphasized speed and reliability, laying the groundwork for what would become the modern powerboat industry. His company would eventually become Chris Craft, one of the most iconic names in boating. By 1900, small motorboats were appearing on lakes and rivers across America and Europe. These early vessels were essentially floating motorcycles. Simple, fast, and thrilling. They represented freedom in a way that larger boats never could, democratizing water recreation for the growing middle class. The period also saw innovations in hull design that would influence boats for the next century. The development of the V-hull around 1890 allowed boats to cut through waves more efficiently, while improvements in marine engines made longer trips practical for amateur boaters. If you're enjoying this journey through boat evolution, you won't believe what happens next when we reach 1920 and Garwood's record-breaking Miss America, a boat that shattered every speed record and changed how we think about what's possible on water. But first, smash that like button if you're learning something new. The year 1916 marked a pivotal moment when Gar Wood purchased his first racing boat, Miss Detroit, launching a career that would redefine speedboat racing. But it was in 1920 that Wood truly made history. His Miss America set a new world water speed record of 71.43 miles per hour on the Detroit River, proving that small boats could be serious speed machines. Gar Wood understood something that previous boat builders had missed. Hydrodynamics mattered as much as horsepower. His innovative designs featured revolutionary stepped hull concepts that reduced drag by creating air cushions under the boat. This principle would later influence everything from racing boats to modern cabin cruisers. The 1920s brought the golden age of runabouts. Companies like Chris Craft, Century, and Gar Wood competed to create the most beautiful and fastest small boats ever built. These weren't just transportation. They were art pieces that happened to float. The classic mahogany runabout became a symbol of American prosperity and craftsmanship. Over the next 12 years, Wood built nine more Miss Americas and broke the water speed record five times. The culmination of his engineering genius came in 1932 with Miss America X, a 39-foot-long, 10-foot-wide behemoth powered by four 1,800-horsepower Packard engines. This monster became the first boat to travel faster than 2 miles per minute, reaching an incredible 124.915 miles per hour on the St. Clair River. World War II temporarily halted civilian boat production, but accelerated marine technology development. 
Military patrol boats and landing craft push the boundaries of small boat design, introducing new materials like fiberglass and aluminium, more powerful engines, and innovative hull shapes designed for specific missions. The post-war boom created an entirely new market for recreational boating. Returning veterans had disposable income and a taste for adventure. Boat manufacturers responded with mass-produced fiberglass boats that were cheaper, lighter, and required less maintenance than traditional wood construction. The 1950s saw the emergence of the modern bass boat, ski boat, and family cruiser. Each design was optimized for specific activities, representing a maturation of the boating industry, from generic water transportation to specialized recreational vehicles. The introduction of fiberglass in the 1950s was as revolutionary as the shift from sails to motors. Suddenly, boat builders could create complex hull shapes that were impossible with wood construction. Fiberglass boats were lighter, stronger, and could be mass-produced with consistent quality. The 1960s brought the first truly modern pleasure boats. Companies like Boston Whaler introduced unsinkable foam-filled hulls, while Sea Ray pioneered the concept of the family cruiser with sleeping quarters, kitchens, and bathrooms. Boating transformed from a day activity to a lifestyle. Outboard motors evolved from simple trolling motors to sophisticated engines rivaling automotive power plants. Mercury Marine's development of the Mer Cruiser stern drive in 1961 combines the power of an inboard engine with the maneuverability of an outboard, creating the standard configuration for modern family boats. The 1970s and 1980s saw explosive growth in recreational boating. Bass fishing tournaments made specialized fishing boats mainstream, while the growth of water skiing created demand for powerful ski boats with precise handling characteristics. Each activity demanded specific boat designs, leading to incredible specialization. Electronics revolutionized boating in the 1980s and 1990s. GPS navigation, fish finders, depth sounders, and marine radios transformed boats from simple watercraft into sophisticated machines. For the first time in history, amateur boaters had access to navigation and safety equipment that surpassed what professional mariners used just decades earlier. The development of jet propulsion for small boats in the 1990s offered an alternative to traditional propellers. Jet boats could operate in shallow water and offered improved safety around swimmers, opening up new possibilities for recreational boating. We're approaching the modern age where boats become floating computers. But before we explore today's incredible technology, hit that subscribe button because our next video reveals how autonomous boats might change everything about water transportation. The 21st century has transformed boats into floating technology platforms. The Sea Ray Sundancer 370, representing the pinnacle of contemporary boat design, showcases how far we've come from those ancient Egyptian funeral boats. This isn't just a boat, it's a luxury apartment that happens to float. Modern boats like the Sundancer feature GPS chart plotters with real-time weather data, underwater cameras for fishing and navigation, and sophisticated autopilot systems that can hold course and speed automatically. The helm of a modern boat resembles an aircraft cockpit more than traditional marine steering stations. Engine technology has reached remarkable sophistication. Modern marine engines feature computerized fuel injection, electronic throttle control, and diagnostic systems that can predict maintenance needs. Mercury Marine's Varado engines produce more power per pound than most car engines, while meeting strict environmental standards. The hull design of contemporary boats benefits from computer-aided design and computational fluid dynamics. Engineers can now simulate how water flows around hulls before building prototypes, resulting in boats that are faster, more fuel-efficient, and more stable than ever before. Luxury features that were unimaginable just decades ago are now standard. Air conditioning, satellite TV, Wi-Fi networks, and smartphone integration transform modern boats into floating homes. The Sea Ray Sundancer 370 features a fully equipped galley, comfortable sleeping quarters, and entertainment systems that rival luxury hotels. Safety technology has advanced dramatically. Modern boats feature collision avoidance systems, automatic fire suppression, and emergency beacons that can summon help from anywhere in the world. What once required extensive maritime knowledge now benefits from automated systems that help amateur boaters navigate safely. 
The integration of electric propulsion is beginning to change boating once again. While fully electric boats are still limited by battery technology, hybrid systems are becoming more common, offering quiet operation and reduced environmental impact. As we look toward the future, several trends are reshaping what boats will become. Autonomous navigation systems, already being tested on commercial vessels, will eventually reach recreational boats. Imagine a boat that can dock itself, navigate to fishing spots automatically, or return to harbor if the captain becomes incapacitated. Electric propulsion is advancing rapidly. Companies like Exshore and Candela are producing electric boats with impressive range and performance, suggesting that quiet, emission-free boating may soon become the norm rather than the exception. Advanced materials continue to evolve. Carbon fiber construction, once limited to racing boats, is becoming more affordable and accessible. These materials offer unprecedented strength-to-weight ratios, enabling boat designs that were previously impossible. The concept of flying boats is experiencing a renaissance. Modern hydrofoil technology allows boats to literally fly above the water surface, dramatically reducing drag and energy consumption while increasing speed. Companies are developing recreational hydrofoil boats that promise to revolutionize how we experience water transportation. Sustainability is driving innovation in unexpected directions. Boats powered by hydrogen fuel cells, solar panels, and even wind-assisted propulsion are moving from concept to reality. The future may see a return to wind power, but with sophisticated computer-controlled systems that optimize performance automatically. The Internet of Things is connecting boats to vast networks of information. Future boats will communicate with marinas, other vessels, and shore-based services automatically, coordinating everything from fuel purchases to maintenance schedules without human intervention. From the cedar funeral boats of ancient Egypt to the sophisticated Sea Ray Sundancer 370 of today, the evolution of small boats tells the story of human ingenuity and our eternal relationship with water. What started as simple transportation has become a sophisticated blend of engineering, technology, and luxury that our ancestors could never have imagined. The three revolutionary moments that changed everything the shift from pure human power to mechanical propulsion in the 1800s, starting with Fulton's North River steamboat, the introduction of fiberglass construction in the 1950s, and the digital revolution of the 2000s that turned boats into floating computers. But perhaps the most remarkable thing about this 4,500-year journey is how the fundamental principles remain unchanged. Whether it's an ancient Egyptian rowing across the Nile or a modern boater cruising through Miami, the experience is about freedom, adventure, and humanity's desire to explore beyond the shoreline. The future of boating promises even more incredible innovations. What do you think boats will look like in another 6,000 years? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more incredible stories about human transportation has evolved. The evolution of boats isn't over, it's just getting started. From 4000 BC to 2025 and beyond, humans will continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible on water creating vessels that are faster, smarter, and more capable than ever before. The next chapter of this incredible story is being written right now, and you're part of it every time you step aboard any boat anywhere in the world.